Hey, this is Jeff with Authentic Details. Um, I just wanted to go over a project with you guys today. Y'all may have seen we worked on this GT3 RS a few months back, and he has driven the car a lot. Um, so what we're gonna see today is what PPF does and what it will look like if you do drive the car hard. Uh, today, all we're gonna be replacing is the hood and front bumper. But if you look closely, you can see that he's caught quite a few rocks and abrasions and things like that on some of his rallies and, and spirited driving around the track. Um, the bumper is pretty beat up here if you look, but uh, the good thing that you see is that a lot of the damage has been taken on by the PPF and the paint underneath should still be in great shape. If you look lower here, we've got you know some pretty big nicks and things like that. Now, one unfortunate thing is he got some carbon accents installed on the car after we did PPF and we never uh, had time to get to putting film on these pieces before he went on these rallies. So what you can see is what happens to the car without PPF. And it is a night and day difference. I mean, this uh, clear is totally tore up on these carbon pieces. And um, unfortunately, what we're gonna have to do is uh, PPF the new ones when he does get those. We do still have some of these accents that are in good shape that we are gonna put film on as well. Uh, like here and these here are gonna be getting some film. Just wanted to show you all some of the progress as we go through. We'll take a video here in a second as we remove it so you can see what the paint looks like underneath. All right, so some of these front impacts here, we're about to see what they look like once the film is removed. Now keep in mind, some of these were, you know, probably going north of 150 miles an hour. And if a rock or an impact happens at those speeds, uh, this is the eight mil film. You know, it's not bulletproof, but like we saw in that carbon fiber, it's night and day difference, you know, what it looks like protected versus not. So. Yeah, you can see the paint underneath. There's a little adhesive left over here but it's amazing how well this product works at protecting the paint. You see all those impacts right there on the film. Now look underneath. All right, so we're gonna go through the bumper now. Um, you know, if you look up close, you can just see how peppered this front end is. Especially on some of these lower areas. You know, hopefully not much of it went through the film. But again, this car has gone at you know, top speeds and it's seen a lot of spirited driving time. So we're about to remove the film and see how the PPF left the paint underneath the top. You can see how peppered it is. You know, just with the film, as I remove it, you can see all the impacts this stuff has taken. Look at that. It's taking quite a beating. See that? There you go. Now, the real kicker is look underneath. You saw how many impacts were on the film. And now just looking underneath, it's crazy how well this product works. Hey guys, uh, I was just want to show y'all that we got all of the old film removed from this GT3. And the bumper and hood has been replaced along with a couple of carbon accents. So I'm going to take a couple of close-ups here and show you what it looks like afterward. 